Okay, so so uh, let's start with XRP. Uh, and again, an eventful an eventful night. Uh, finally, we, we, we had the drop. Uh, so you can see it dropping down here. So if I talk briefly through a bit of the history here, you see the red channel here, support and resistance. You see this resistance line here, and then it transitions to the white line. So resistance here, and then support transitions to the yellow line. And we have this breakout of the white line, breakout of the, the red channel, it pops up. Now we're after dropping back into the red channel. Okay, so we drop back into the red channel, we spike through the white, our yellow support line, which again is from all the way back here, beautiful line. Okay, so now we spike through, is we come back and we back test it to the, to the green channel here, which again is another another support and resistance line on this on this uh, consolidation phase yeah is got rejected came back down below the yellow line got a spike up to the 20 EMA on the on the one hour and again a rejection so it looks to me like look it's it come back to back test the red channel and I reckon that we're heading down and I reckon we're going to head down potentially to the bottom of the red channel at about 36, 36. Also, it come back down and touch off this white channel again. Yeah, uh, that, that looks like a, a solid, a solid uh, uh, target. Uh, equally, here's the bottom. Again, this is heading for double bottom. Double bottoms like to go as close to the bottom as it can. So 33.18 is quite possible. We'll come and we'll be touching this blue line. Excuse me. We'll be touching this blue line. That really should be there. Um, and potentially coming down even lower and hit hitting a 34, 34.50 maybe. Possibly 34.50. Um, if we get a recovery, if we get a recovery from this yellow line and it, it finds its way back up, which I don't think it will, but I'll, I'll show you why in, in a moment, uh, popping back up this yellow channel, popping back up to 47.50 or so, uh, a little retrace, uh, possibly to this green line, and then a pop up to this this green channel here, look at the mid 50s, yeah? Um, so that's the that's it and i believe this is where we're going this is where we're going uh when this is complete we're heading up this way anyway we're heading up towards this anyway yeah <clears throat> okay so let me just flick through a couple of things i'm i'm looking at here i'll come back to this in a moment just the the ma's uh why do i think that we're going to head down uh the one hour the 20 EMA the white and the 55 EMA have crossed and here's the spill <clears throat> here's where it spilled uh, here's where it broke uh, for this pump so again if you look at if you look at how far it traveled when it when it broke here again now think about traveling coming down here it's looking like it's coming for a bigger a bigger spill yeah equally the four hour so the four hours crossed over as well the two hour on the next two hour is the, the, the two hours going to cross over as well and then the three hour is also very close to crossing over so this all this all this all to me shows that we're we're going for continuation down yeah uh, when I look at the 15 minute uh, arc the new one that that I've set <clears throat> is we got a bit of a breakout here but again is you could also look at it as a as a as a fake out skyline first spike resistance peak second spike mid-range high and potentially mid-range high looking at another 10 percent drop down to third spike so so that's and again back to that 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 white line yeah um so that's looking that's looking possible and you can see the spill here there's a this yellow line on one on my charts channel will be the red channel line yeah so that 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 looks like that could be could be a potential as well and when i look on the four hour now the four hour is again the blue the blue arc. this is the this is the the one hour yeah 
the red one is the one hour. But on the four hour is, again, we're looking at a, a potentially a, a, a double bottom. A double bottom here is you can see this channel line here, <coughs> excuse me, this channel line here where a similar pump uh, failed, capitulated a similar pump, and again a failed drop back in. Uh, this time a, a drop, and again potentially is the, the white line catches it here, uh, and then it bounces off. And we head up to, again, uh, mountain peak, <coughs> mountain peak on the four hour. So this drop would be the completion of, of first drop. Double top, first drop, heading up for mountain peak. Again, if it if it, 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 if, if it comes down, yeah, <coughs> it could just turn around and up, up it goes. But I don't know. I think I think it's going to come down first. Um, so that's it. Other than other than the MAs, uh, I'm not going to go through a huge amount of them, but I will show you some of the dailies that are looking a bit brutal. The weekly as well. Here's the weekly, and while it's still, while it's still a green candle, that's a very large rejection on a weekly candle um, to the end of the week. A couple of days left, yeah. Um, I think the five day as well. The five day, not the five day. The uh, where is it? The four day. Uh, the four day again. The previous one was a, a long, a long green rejection. Again, it looks like there's a there's a push coming down. Just a question of how 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 far, yeah. Um, then on the one day, um, here we are. Here we are with the the rejection of the twenty EMA. Um, Here's the 10 coming down, the 5 needs to crest over. Uh, here's the, the medial line. So it's below the medial line, come back and back test. Generally it wants to come down and touch the, the Bollinger. Once it breaks this and stays below it, which it looks like it's going to do, uh, it comes down and touches off the Bollinger, which again at the moment is 37, 37, 37, 5. Uh, possibly is we could get a push, maybe the next day we get another push down. Maybe it stops at 36. Maybe you get a wick to 36, yeah. Um, on the 12 hour, again, the, the 50 is coming down. There's a big spill. If I actually show you the 18 for a moment, the 18 is a stronger, the 50 here on the 18 is a much stronger rejection. Twice it got rejected. So that's a strong, that's a strong push, push down on the on the 18 hour, yeah. Uh, on the 12 hour, if it wanted to go to say 36, there's 36.90. Um, you see the corrections here, one, two, three, one there, one, two, three, multiple ones there. So with the spill here, it starts here, one, two, uh, three, we could get a long 12 hour or a, another one after that coming down and spiking through to 36. Could go further. So now I'm just going to flick to the four hour. Um, sorry, I tell a lie. The six hour because it's, it's important, yeah. Uh, the six hour, look where the five is. The five is well down. It's after crossing the 50. It's after crossing the 20. And it's very close to, to uh, price action. That's going to turn again in... Uh, that's going to turn again... To, uh, that's going to turn again in an hour and a half. There's a breakdown again in an hour and a half, yeah. Um, here's the four hour. And again, the, the challenge at the moment is the VWAP is going sideways. So this next four hour is should be breaking the 50 and also coming down and, and either touching or breaking through the, the VWAP here, yeah? Uh, equally, we're sort of waiting on the, on, the, on, the, on the 10 to come down. So on the next four hour, I think there's a solid chance of a, a much stronger push down. Um, there's the, the, the three hour, here's the 10. The 10 on the next three hour is gonna break the 100, the 55 and the, the 144. Uh, WMA. So again, that's that's coming down as well. Um, so uh, mid range, mid range high here is like a micro arc, and it's just going through these the the, the, the process of it now, and then I think it's gonna it's gonna head down. Yeah. Um, so there is the there's the two hour, 
Here's the one hour. And the last thing I'm going to say is the stock, which I haven't been talking about the last day or so because I don't think it was so important. Other things are going on. The one hour stock is just about up. So this here is is gave it his last little his last little lift here, yeah. Um, so this is this is done. This is pretty much back at the top. It's not gonna the push up is is done for the one. Um, I think the two hour might need to come up as well. So the two hour might need to come up uh, through that time as well. The three hour I don't think needs to come up before it can go that back down again. Uh, and then the four hour four hour is just down, which means that can stay down a lot longer. So I think definitely the one hour is up. Maybe the two hour needs to get up before we get that solid push down. Maybe not. Maybe not. So that's 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 me. Uh, that's me done. Uh, try to keep that as quick as I can. We're trying to get it under five minutes. Um, Mahela, do you wanna do you wanna take take over? <laughs> yes. There. How how long was that? Ten minutes. Uh, was it ten minutes? Stop. Was not. It's still, I think it's your personal best so far, so well done. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'll start sharing my screen. Okay. I'll uh, stop streaming mine. There's yours. Okay. And I'll, uh, I'll start with, and I'll start with the MAs on the one hour, and then I'll change to the four hours. So these are the two uh, <coughs> time frames that I'll look at. Uh, today. I'll start the one hour because it's a more immediate response to what's going on now in the fourth hour. Um, on the, that's it, this is it. Okay, so on the one hour we seem to have got above the, the 200 with this last week, but it looks like the, the 20 is coming down quite quite strongly and this week um, together with the first previous, the, the first one, the previous one that try to get above the 200, they look like um, rejection candles. So it, it looks like price action is getting rejected here. Um, I am watching it closely to, to see what's going to happen around the 20, the 20 mark. If it, if it does get above the 200 and the 20 mark, um, it, it looks like it's, it wants to go up one more time rather than rush downwards. Um, that would be sort of like my my invalidation signal for, um, for the short that I'm in. I've already taken most of my profit from that short, but I will show you on the level what levels that I have. I think it's going to come down another level. However, these these two MAs, the 200 and the 20 on the one hour, are my invalidation for this move going upwards rather than downward, so for, for the reversal. Um, it looks at the moment like the one hour is getting exhausted doing all of this, trying to break above the 200, but we need to see in the coming hours um, how, um, how, how we're gonna, how, how it's gonna behave here. There's a, there's a lot of, of push down uh, from, from the 20. If I change to the four hour, you will see that uh, the five, of course, the five uh, on the four hour is the 20 on the one hour. It's the, it's, it's the five coming down uh, over the 50. So again, the invalidation would be closing above this 50 on the four hour. Um, it, it, looks, it looks like a, um, a, a bullish formation here with this tiny rejection candle and then this green candle. However, if I look at the previous four hour rejections and I'll highlight them here uh, against the Bollinger here and here, if we do expect a considerable lift up, I, I, I would want to see a double bottom or uh, a lower low with a bullish divergence on the RSI to be, let's say, more more certain about that reversal. So just the fact that we've done two candles uh, with higher lows and uh, we're challenging the 50 MA on the four hour doesn't mean that we're reversing upwards. It takes a little bit more. Um, it takes a little bit more conviction to build the base and then go upwards. So um, my. I am still in my short in Bitcoin. 
and I am looking at the 28.6 level as the, the, the third level down. Um, we've, seen, we've seen the first level as the technical target of this diamond top. The second level was the, was the support and resistance, the 29.5, which it broke. And there's another level that I think it's going to go to, 28.6. And I think um, somewhere in between uh, the, the previous low that actually reached a 702 on the Fib retracement and uh, the next low, we're going to have our bullish divergence. Um, <clears throat> and that's where I'm going to close my, uh, my short and wait for any, any other structure. Probably won't be trading uh, on Fridays and, the, and at the weekend. I'm going to wait for Monday to see um, how the markets are. Um, but at the moment, the one hour stochastic has got exhausted doing this lift. I do expect another drop down. The invalidation of that, as I just said, gaining the 50 MA on the four hour or the 200 on the one hour and, uh, and staying there. Though the structure wouldn't look as solid as a double bottom or a reverse head and shoulders. Um, ETH is in, uh, ETH is in a, a pretty similar place because um, we've had we've had uh, two levels of a drop. So uh, we went up of uh, first level, second level, third level, and then we came down. First, we met the technical target of this uh, descending triangle. And then we came really close to uh, the 1750. We came down to 1757, and my target was 1752. Um, that's that's my fault for trying to be so precise. Um, there uh, there is the 1750 range, which is a strong level of support. I am looking at ETH for doing uh, the same thing. So at the moment, this looks like a V-shaped recovery. It doesn't have too much of a strong base, a strong foundation. I'll show you the MAs on, on ETH in, in a minute. But I am looking in terms of levels. If it's getting rejected here at the 18, um, the previous level of support and resistance, I think it's 1820, 1850. I, I always run them up at the 50s. So uh, if it is getting rejected here, I am uh, looking at the 1700 that's as a possible level for it to come down and do a, a double bottom formation with a bullish divergence. ETH did, uh, out of the three of them, XRP, Bitcoin and ETH, ETH has done the deepest retracement. It came down to the 786. So it's it's the it's the deepest uh, it's the deepest retracement um, and and it actually broke it. Um, so I, I expect it to stay somewhere between this level. Maybe do a double bottom with the seventeen oh oh seventeen hundred the seventeen hundred. I want to say seventeen oh two. That's seventeen hundred. So a little bit above the the previous bottom. Um, that's that's uh, my uh, that's where I am in terms of what's the next move for ETH, where I think it, it's going to go today. So a continuation of this short. And just as we talked about uh, Bitcoin's uh, invalidation, we're going to talk about ETH's invalidation. So on the one hour, we have the five and uh, the ten MAs meeting, and they're they're holding us support. But what we see here is both in, in both in this candle as well as this one, just as we notice for Bitcoin, it, um, it is a rejection. On the five minute arc, that would be the double top and then we're looking at the first first drop. Um, I was looking at the five minute uh, interval. Um, so, for ETH to continue going upwards, um, we would need to see two things. First, we would need to see ETH go above the 20 MA on the one hour and then the 200 MA on the one hour. So basically, ETH regaining the 1850 level. And then, of course, it's the, it's the long term 
this green line here, the 1950 level. So uh, these 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 two would be the levels to to watch. Personally, I wouldn't long uh, ETH unless I saw clear continuation and um, uh, a nice solid base formed around the 1850, because as is at the moment, it, it's looking quite uh, quite fragile. Um, I'll show you the four hour. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by why it is quite fragile. On the four hour, w w the reason why I would be careful about longing, because I, I know Michael wanted to have a, one, Michael's keeping his eyes on, on an entry in a long. We've had this crossing, the five crossing over the 50, and it's, and it's going, it's going quite strongly down. The 50 is not following so aggressively, but it's a slower moving average. And if we look, for instance, at what happened here when it when it crossed, we we see we see almost the same candle structure. So we 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 see these three four hour candles looking like oh we're we've stopped here at the 1950. We're going to rehabilitate and go upwards. But this crossing of the MA did another push down to here. Then again. Price action challenged the 20, but didn't close uh, above it in the second candle. So only one candle pierced through it, the next one retraced, and then it did this. I'm not necessarily expecting uh, a, a major drop like this for ETH because ETH um, has already had its double bottom. But I would be careful about uh, longing at the moment because it, it's uh, price action is at 18.20. I wouldn't want to be 120 points down uh, thinking that if there is further continuation, if Bitcoin continues further down uh, and breaks the uh, 28.5, we're looking at a 25k uh, Bitcoin and that will pull ETH uh, maybe to the 1600s, maybe even 1500s, even a lower low. Um, but that's that's more, you know, anticipating uh, ranges. At the moment, uh, again, I'm looking at continuation, another level down, another step down for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. I, I would like to see solid structure for reversal before considering longing or closing my uh, the final part of my position in Bitcoin. That's it for me.